Hi, I'm Rachel Katz. I'm a physical therapist. I'm a chronic and complicated pain specialist. I work with people who have chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia. Fortunately, I have never had that, although I have had some very long-lasting, very difficult to resolve pain issues myself. So I have some sense about the challenges of a very long illness that affects your mind, your body, your spirit. So I've been working really hard on getting something ready for you for chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia, but um, I wasn't even realizing until suddenly today I was on the internet and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, awareness day, and I'm like, I've got to do something really quickly for you. So what I want to do is give you a little bit of a mindfulness exercise that could be helpful for you today. So it's my little gift to you today on fibro. I'm wearing my purple shirt. Okay, we're going to take a look at three things, three categories of perception, and we're going to do a quick little exercise in mindfulness. And our categories are seeing, hearing, and feeling, a sense of contact. Now those are really ears, and it was a horrible drawing, but the paper's expensive, so I had to stay with this piece of paper and not rip it up and start over. So bear with me. It's a, maybe it's like a Ferengi with really big ears from Star Trek. Okay, with seeing. If you're in your room, if you have a window, find three things and just take a look and, um, and see what your eyes land on. Of course your room is filled with many things. But just let your eyes gaze around your room and just see what your eyes come to rest on. Do that for three things. Watch your pacing. Just notice whether you have to jump from thing to thing or whether you can linger a little bit on, um, on what you see. Then close your eyes and just, just listen and just notice. Is there some humming in the building? Are there birds outside? Are there um, cars going by? What do you hear? Do you hear people talking? Hopefully they're, they sound pleasant. Three things you hear. And then three things you feel. Now this is the trickiest one of all because with fibromyalgia, lots of times what you feel is just pain, 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 or pain jumping from one place to another place to another place. So with this one, you want to try to see what you feel and maybe it's just a surface. This is kind of cool and smooth. It's probably full of lead paint. It's really old. Um, this is um, paper. It has a completely different feel to it. Mm. I have this amazingly beautiful teacup from uh, my grandma. And it's, it's like air. It's like holding a hummingbird. So that's touch. And those are all ways to do mindfulness and it doesn't have to be sitting in a lotus position and your back is killing you and you're trying to concentrate on your breathing and you can't even sit up like that. So mindfulness can be just observing different categories of sensation and on the, especially on the touch category, try to find something that's pretty neutral, you know, that's just the teacup, it's just a teacup. It's not, my knee is killing me. Hope that's helpful for you today. And just want you to know I'm wearing purple for fibromy Fibromyalgia Awareness Day. Thank you so much for listening to this. And I really hope that that's helpful for you in some small way. I love to teach. And I have a lot to share with people on how to deal with chronic and complicated pain problems. And there is more coming that I've specifically done for chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia that's a more... Um, a more defined, more robust way to begin to take some of these concepts and make use of them. And if you're interested in that, um, go ahead and take a look around at my, um, my blog on mindbodyphysicaltherapy.com and the connection, you know, the information for that is below this video. Take a look at that and please leave me your comments. Love to hear from you.